everyone this is Charlotte welcome back to my channel it is Saturday you probably will be seeing this Monday I don't know because this is Christmas week I am not sure how many videos I will be able to get out I'm gonna try but Dana's off all this week um, and the children are home from school Allie has a minor surgery on the 20th so um everybody wanted to bake and get together and we're gonna do gingerbread houses and gingerbread men uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna try but check my shorts because um if i'm not doing an actual video then i will try to post shorts and that you'll be able to see that everything is good we're all fine and we're hanging out having fun as I hope that you and yours do as well. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas, a very Merry Christmas, a happy holiday, happy Hanukkah, however you celebrate, whether you celebrate or not, I just hope that you're safe and that you, you're, you feel loved and you're with friends and family, that you've got good food and that you're warm doing what you like to do. So with that being said, I hope everybody is okay. And I'm gonna show you what I did. So we have signature one is done. Signature two, I think it has, it's got some empty blue pages because I'm still, well, let's go through signature two and then I'm gonna show you signature three. And then we have to decorate. So this is signature one. Um, I don't feel we need to do a reveal. We'll just go through it really quick. Let's we'll see what I've missed so that I can see how much I've got left. I'm trying to decide. I love this together. I'm trying to decide. This I'm going to leave, but I don't know if I want to leave this. I don't know if I want to put something in here or if I want to leave this for um, for you to or whoever gets this. Um, whoever ends up with this journal, if you want to, uh, I'll probably do something with it because it's just so white, white, white. Then we've got this beautiful page here. And I did this. You, you were with me when we did that. And when, when we did this, here's the bags. This I made into, you saw that. Nothing's been decorated yet. So there's the inside of the bag. I don't know if you saw, okay, I think I need to finish this. This is a pocket, I'm fairly certain. Yes. So I want to do something with this. Um, don't know what. This I'll probably leave because it makes a great journal spot. Then we have this. And see what I mean about the blue page? I just think this paper is so pretty. I almost, maybe what I'll do is just put, I don't know, maybe I will just put, attach some things to it. I think this is Artie Mays. This is, I thought there was one that was kind of a booklet. Is this it? No. No, what I do with it? Well, maybe, I don't know. Is my mind playing tricks on me? No, here we go. Pride and Prejudice. I'm fairly certain this is Artie Mays. And maybe what I'll do, would this even fit? I might do something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there because that, that gives that blue page at least something. Then we've got this page here. This is that one that, that is uh, 1930, 1915, 19, 1913. Does it say 19? Guys, I can't even see it. 1913, I think. 1915. Yeah, so... 
I love that. I'm not touching that because I know that's, you know, with time. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave the map. You can tell by the patina, the map is old. Created a pocket here. And then I did this with this torn paper. Love how that looks on that edge. Isn't that just the coolest thing? Look at that. Left this because it's vintage. There is a pocket there. Left this because I just like the writing. This is the back. So then if you turn this over, here is our third signature. And this is what I'm working on today and thought I would invite you along for the ride. I added a pocket here right here, and I think I'm gonna leave this. I think I, I might put a little bit of lace here. Like I said, we haven't decorated anything. But in this uh, signature, I did go ahead and do some uh, texture paste with a stencil. So there's texture paste on this page here. And then I put some washi tape there and uh, collaged this and this folds out. And I think what I'm gonna do here is just put some pages and probably have a paper clip that just holds different pages in instead of doing a pocket or anything like that. And isn't this so pretty? Look at that. Um, Texture paste stencil there. Love how that whole thing looks, and love I love how you can see when this is when this is closed. You can no, nope, I covered it up. You used to be able to see the texture paste, and now you can't. So I'm gonna leave this. Then we've got vintage book pages here. This vintage map. I'm leaving this. This map is I think is this. Where is this? I think this this is England. Pretty sure. Canterbury. Yep, that's English. This is old, old. I mean, you can just tell by the color. So pretty. Then I put one of those uh, um, Angel Dream Crafts Kim, one of the German pages. So, so pretty that I had gotten. I put that in here. Love that. Then I texture pasted this um, Medieval Mirage. And when you turn this over, I added a tuck here. And then that's Maggie. If you hear that in the background, that's Maggie. Then we've got another Maggie. Maggie. We have another uh, book page here. And then I think I might leave this. Maybe. Not sure. This is kind of cool there. I could make that a pocket um or i might leave this texture paste on the top on the bottom maybe on this side that is really pretty i might maybe should we make a pocket out of this look at that <gasps> let's make a pocket out of that and put that there let's do that let's just do it right now before I forget, I don't think I would forget, but you know what? You never know. Let me see if I can. Now that I've done that, will this work? Yes, it will. So let's use this for some strength. And I am trying to use the rest of this. And I think I have. So, you know what that means. Glad to be done with this. That's going to do nothing. So, that means we have to find another glue stick. And I know I've got a bunch of glue sticks. I'm sorry, guys. I should have done this before. I started the camera. But this is life, isn't it? So glue sticks right here. I think I have other glue sticks. I don't think I've been through all my glue sticks to have to open up a new pack, but who knows. And now I have to hope, yes, sometimes I have trouble getting the lid off. Here we go. All right, now we're going. 
So yesterday I did my a uh, bunch of my Christmas shopping. I um, when I did that with our daughter. We went out to lunch. We had a great time. And the night before that was our son's birthday. We went out to dinner, had a great time. And so here we are yet again. I think I'm going to take that all the way up there because I sometimes I don't trust this for not tearing or ripping or I could. Nope, I don't think I will. That's what we're going to do. Don't change your mind, Charlotte. Just get going. Just get going, girl. So now we have to wrap everything. And my husband's wrapping, but he can't. He doesn't know uh what uh gifts are for who so it's um hard for him to do that without me and i'm up here doing my thing but that's what's left and then we're trying to do some christmas cards i know every year we get less and less Christmas cards, I think, because postage is just, every year, it's higher and higher. That's pretty. If y'all haven't been over to check out Artie Mays, she has such beautiful graphics, digitals. You should go give her a, go give her a look-see. And this week I'm going to see Dana. I'm so excited because it's been, I bet it's been a month since she and I have gotten together. That's a long time. She's been really, really busy at work. She works for Mesa Community College. And uh, busy, busy time. So I'm thinking I should have stories. Um, our son really wants us to go with them next spring to Germany and to uh, Holland. Holland, one of my absolute favorite countries. We used we were only three and a half hours drive from Bitburg up to Holland, so we used to go to Holland just for a weekend. We I'd get in the car. The kids hated it. They never wanted to go. You know, of course, they were teenagers and young. They didn't know anything. You know, now they know. Now they're like, how how could we be like that? Why do we act like that? Of course, we made them go. And our our son always um, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I'm just rounding the corners. But our son always gauged how long a drive it'd be by how many CDs he could listen to in the car. Oh, I don't even know. I don't think kids even listen to CDs anymore. I think now everything is just on their devices. So, yeah, I don't think kids take CDs. And, boy, that just ages my son, doesn't it? So, um, anyway, we used to drive. It was 20, 20 minutes out of Amsterdam. And then we'd take, get up and take the bus. But we stayed at a working cheese farm. They, uh, I guess you could call it a B&B, &B, although back then I don't know if technically it was called a B&B, &B, but they, oh, it was just beautiful because if you wanted to, you could get up early in the morning and you could go and you could watch them make the cheese and um, they'd make these humongous rounds of Edom and, you know, all these different types of cheeses. And then you'd go into the dining room for breakfast and there'd be like six different rounds of cheeses. There would be lunch meat. It, it was a typical, like a continental European breakfast. So you'd have rolls and bread. You'd have uh, softer hard boiled eggs, sliced tomatoes, uh, different types of meats, and obviously cheeses and I can't you know I can't remember if if there was fruit I want to say you'd think there was fruit but I really don't remember there being fruit 
but there was juice. Oh, and cereal. There was always cereal. And then we would um, get on the bus, and we'd uh, take the bus into Amsterdam. We had a car, but it was just so convenient to get on the bus. We go, and then we would go to uh, the Anne Frank house, and we usually toured that. I've been to the Anne Frank house probably all oh, three or four times, and then you know that was it because it's. I mean, it's sad. It's something. If you go to Amsterdam, I mean, you have to see it. But now I've heard you have to get tickets like a year out. There isn't any just walking up. We used to just walk right up and walk right in. But now um, you can't, I don't think you can do that. And then right a couple doors down from the Anne Frank house, there was a restaurant that had uh, Pannekuchen, which is a big Dutch pancake. And the pancakes, you can get dessert pancakes, pizza pancakes, all different toppings. But, oh, my goodness. You know, we, we could never go to Amsterdam without having a, or Holland even, without having a Pannekoeken. You just had to have it. It's, you know, a Dutch thing, and it was delicious. And I could share so many more Dutch stories, but that's got to come another day, or we'll never get anything done. So I have this beautiful Artie Mace card. And we are going to I'll have to tell you the time I drove to the Czech Republic and got a speeding ticket. <laughs> yes, I did. I got a speeding ticket. Got called off. I had to follow him to the jail. Well, I didn't go to jail, but they don't just give it to you and let you go. You have to go into the government building and you have to pay it. So, I got to tell you, that was scary, though, because, you know, I mean, as a foreigner, you don't know anything about that. You don't know what's going to happen to you. So, isn't that just so pretty? Isn't that pretty, guys? Come on. You know it is. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, everybody. Um, okay, I'm going to give you the news. I was going to wait and make it another video. Probably the next video. I don't know. Um, I've noticed that... Some people, when they're doing these flip-flop journals, they've got multiple flip-flop journals going all at the same time. I'm kind of more of a one-journal kind of person. I, I, I guess I believe in journal monogamy, okay? So I, I really have to finish one listed in my shop and then go to the... I don't think my mind... Now, in all fairness, I've never done it, so I don't know, but I don't think, I think it would make me crazy unless I was using all the exact same papers and did it. But Karen Bellinger, and you'll catch her in the comments, and she is also on Angel Dream Crafts, Kim. Um, so you go check her YouTube channel out under Karen Bellinger and you can see what she's up to. She does beautiful lace and sewing. Just beautiful. But she messaged me. You may have seen it in the comments. And she said, you need to check out this link. This is not the, okay, the um, flip-flop journal. The flip-flop journal, I don't know who the original creator of the flip-flop journal is. I was watching Liz Leslie's channel the other day, and she said that this goes back like a year or more. And I think somebody named Susan, that was when she first saw this type of journal. But anyway, I went and, and Karen said, Charlotte, no, you're, it's not quite right. It's not quite right. And then somebody else told me in the comments that the last two envelopes are totally opened. Well, that's not what this is. So I went on a hunt and I found um, a YouTuber that takes the whole step and it looks so simple. It's, it's easy, 
and I am going to watch the her putting her envelopes together. And I think she only maybe she uses this has that that one that I showed you where I thought oh we have it we have it that was five envelopes. Um, the one that I saw I think she only used four. So I'm going to get the envelopes together and then we're going to do the paper. So I don't think we're there. I think this is a good style for me of a flip-flop journal. I, you know, you can call, if it's not a flip-flop, let's make it a flip-floppy. Let's make it a flippity-flop. Let's just make a, this is a three signature, the one that supposedly is, in quotes, the right flip-flop journal has four signatures. So guys, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully you're not tired of this because after this one, I want to do the other one. I want to do this until I get it and I know what I'm doing and I can say, okay, moving on, moving on. But anyway, okay, so uh, texture page. Look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? And then we have this vintage page. I am not covering this up. And this too, I believe, yes, this has a pocket right there. So I'm going to leave this the way it is. This is um, Artie Mays. This is Artie Mays. And um, this was a vintage page, but it was for ads. I didn't like it. And so I just didn't like the way that it looked. There was nothing wrong with the ads. But I liked somehow the paper that I printed this off on came out with that lavender look. And um, I just threw them in my stash, and now I know why it came out like that, because it was meant to go with this. Look at isn't that just beautiful? You have two vintage pages there with great patina, and then you've got this pretty lavender. So uh, these are in um, Artie Mays' uh, shop, her Etsy shop, and I didn't do a pocket or anything out of this. I just let it be like that. This is Medieval Mirage, and then I found a bag when I was going through my stash. So um, I went ahead and I put a pocket here. This is what I did this morning. Just stuck that tag in there. We have to do something with this tag. I just stuck that tag in there so I would know it was a pocket. Then I found, it's amazing. See, this is why I say to people, don't hoard things because I'll st I'll st hoard things and then I don't I put them away then I don't know that I have them because I've forgotten and then I've brought other things in or people are kind enough to send me happy mail but look at this bag this bag's perfect for here so I cut the bottom off oh my goodness I thought I cut the oh yeah did I cut the bottom off <gasps> what if I didn't cut the bottom off Oh, I didn't cut the bottom off. Look at that. I've got that in here and I didn't cut the bottom off. It's close. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, that scared me for a minute. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do anything with this because it's bright and cheery and I like it. So this is where we're at. We're at this page here, and I'm definitely going to do something to that. This was the page I covered up that I said was ads. See, it's all right. It's German, which is kind of cool. It's all right, but um, it isn't anything special. I'm not going to touch this, and this has a, a pocket. Then we've got this piece here, and I went ahead and I did texture paste design at the top and the bottom. Not touching that. We will do something with this here. Won't touch that. Here's the other side of that. I'm not touching this. I'm not touching either one of these. This, more texture paste. Isn't that just so cool? We will do something to this. And this is texture paste. This is the back side of the cover for, or for this um, signature. So texture paste on that. Isn't she beautiful? I want to say this is Medieval Mirage. If anybody knows, this just doesn't look like Jarf style. I don't know where I got her. I've had her for years. 
love her. I need to try to find that. Need to see what we can do with that. So now we're here. And no, absolutely no. But this might work. This might work because it's got some lavender in it. It looks good with that page. It looks good with this. So I'm wondering, do we just want to use this? And I think we will. Let's use this. I have it. It's pretty. It's lavender. So let's use it. And I think I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom. Close here. Boy, do you see, I can't even, I can't draw a straight line, I can't cut a straight line, and I sure as heck can't squeeze glue out of a bottle in a straight line. What is up with that? And because we're going to bend this, I'm going to make sure I've got glue all in here. I don't want to get a hump. We get a hump, we'll deal with it, but I would prefer not to have a hump. Boy, that is just off. And I think it's just going to have to be off. Let me... I was wondering if I wanted to keep that and fold it over. I'm not going to fold this until the glue has a chance to completely dry. But I'm wondering, do we want... We could. I don't have to cut it. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. I think I will, just because it will make the edge stronger. And then if I don't like it, you know what? I can put a piece of lace on there because we still have to come along and decorate this. I'll tell you one thing I've learned about this type of journal. It's not something that you're going to do fast. Not at all. It takes, it's not so much the putting the journal together. It's the, um, it's the collaging of the pages, the figuring out what you're going to put, where you're going to put it. We haven't even put the tags in this yet. Or anything like that so if you want to make one of these go for it because they're fun I love it but just be aware that they take time it's not something that you're gonna get done in a day so now we come to this page and this is the one where I'm kind of having to think what are we doing here the other one, I'm pretty sure I uh, just went ahead and covered both sides up and then just kind of collaged it. Let's see if I have anything here I can... I could put that on there. What else do I have over here? I went in my stash and pulled a bunch of things thinking maybe I had tags. I think mainly tags. 
could do that. This is on both sides. Oh, is that the same thing? Yes, it is. It's the library card. I could put that on there like that and call that done. Um, I like the patina. That's the thing. I could just do that, couldn't I? Look at the top. Maybe I'll do that. Let's do that. That just that gives us a little bit of color. this whole paper on that not even even there we go so you lay down dots to follow lines I can't eat still can't get it let me tell you guys I don't think I'm the only one that has that issue I don't want to lose this whole page. There's no reason for it. <laughs> That's why I don't tear anything right there. That's why. That's why Charlotte doesn't tear paper. I think you have to go to tear school. So do I need it at the bottom? Did we say, did we decide? Let's see. Yeah, that's good. And I think... You know, we want some down here. Yeah, we do. Do we need some on the side? I don't think so. Just at the bottom. Let's put some at the bottom. We'll do that. Straight, straight enough. Okay, it's just not glued down very well. Do you know it got down to? Tw I think it was twenty-seven last night here. Twenty-seven. It did. It really did. Well, I need a smaller ruler to tear, I think, because it's too much for me to try to hold on to. So, I need to get a little or smaller ruler. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. What do you guys think? Go for it. I don't think it doesn't have to be a pocket because this could be, we could put things in here. But I think this, yeah, let's glue this down. Get it all glued down. You know, I got quiet, but I'm concentrating. Trying to think of what's next, and I don't have a clue. But when you're in your room and you're working, you don't know what's next. 
Not unless you have it all laid out. I don't have it all laid out. That's really pretty. And you know, you know what, guys? The pink that's in this paper here brings the pink out in those roses. So we do need to put something on here, though. We need something here. I wonder... And open that up. This serves this serves no purpose when it's got nothing there. Could have a pocket. I hate to have a I hate to have a pocket though when you've got bags. Because it's kind of like why? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think this was uh this was put on vintage paper. This um was Happy Mail for me a long time ago. I hoarded this. I think I have a couple others. I couldn't tell you who gave this to me. I hate to make this a pocket because this is great for writing. So I am not, this is gonna, I would rather have this as a tag than a pocket. But who, you know, if you're watching me still, whoever sent that, thank you, thank you, because I love it. I loved it so much I hoarded it. I did. I hoarded it away, and I found it this morning. I was like, oh, just like my ladies here. This is what my website's after. I used that digital for my website, the cover of my website, Someplace in Time, T-H-Y-M-E. And I uh, always loved these ladies. But this was always my, I just think they're so absolutely beautiful. So I don't know that I want that there. But if I just make a tuck out of one of these, she's pretty and she looks really good with that. If I make a tuck, then we could slip. Really, anything down in there would be good. I could put that postcard right there. So I think, let's go ahead, let's round the corners on this, just so that we're not looking at everything being completely squared off. We'll just do it to the top. And let's put her on like that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's glue her down. Let's make a decision. Just make a decision, Charlotte. And this is a plain area right here, so let's just put her down. We might put a little bit of lace under here, too, to hang off the bottom. I think I'm going to let you guys go. I don't know. I have my phone here, but I have no idea how long. Let me look at the... Let me look and see how many minutes it's been. I know you guys have enough of me. Ooh, almost, almost 38, 39 minutes. Okay, let's hang out just a little bit more. Maggie's under my desk on her quilt. So now we we have a little. Oh, I didn't make a tuck. Look at that. I made. Oh, I made a pocket. See, I made a pocket. I was gonna say, let's stick this in there. Well, it ain't gonna go in there because I made a pocket. Oh my goodness, that won't go in there. That won't go in there. You see what happens? This is what happens when I'm talking to my friends. And I'm not thinking. I made a pocket and I wanted a tuck. This was gifted to, to me too, and I love this. And I don't know who. You guys have such talent. Okay, well, we're gonna have to make something for that because I just I just blew that idea. This might be pretty with a piece of lace down it. Okay, love this, you guys. That's cool. So I could, you know, it's all in German. I kind of hate to cover it up, but I don't really like all that black. 
it's just, I could leave that and have that be, yeah, and have this be a bed for all sorts of cool stuff. Maybe I'll leave that, we'll cover this up. So what do we wanna put there? I know I keep pulling this out. It's just so pretty. I have a problem with putting it though on its side. I don't know why, because it's really pretty. And, it, and look at how pretty it is with this. Come on, Charlotte, what's your issue? I don't think I wanna do this again. I mean, we already did this and I don't like that. So how about trying to use up all, I, I really don't want to cover up the patina of that paper behind it. That's pretty though, isn't it? I think what I'm going to do is I am going to fold this. Let me cut this. I have lines. If I try to tear this, I'm going to mess it up. I had rounded these corners. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pretty sure for um, Artie Mays' design team, I did a journal out of this, but it was a long time ago. And I had this left over. How about we could do that? That's pretty. I wonder if we want to fold that over. But if I fold that over, it's just going to be harder. No, we don't need that. Okay, I'm going to put this, I think, on this. Just going to do this. Try to make it easy on myself. I'm coming almost to the edge like that. And then this should go right on there like that. Okay, I think I like that. So let's put this down. It's beautiful outside. It's chilly. The sun is out. Of course, the sun's out here almost 352 days a year, so. No surprise there. Yes, I do like that. I meant to cover this up here, but I didn't do it. Does this bother me? don't want to cover that. Oh, I kind of like that, though. And that doesn't cover the rose. I'm going to do this. I am. Because I like that. I think that looks good. And then I don't have so many scraps. I apologize. I know I got quiet. See. Yes, I do like that. I'm gonna and I am gonna leave this. I don't like this page like this, but I like the fact that this is um, German ads, and when this is shut, we can put anything we want 
back here like this. Yes, so I am going to leave this. Sh I Yes, I am. I'm going to leave that like that. And then do I want to carry this? No, we don't need that at all. No, too much. But I might... Maybe I will get, I have to remember, I've got a pocket right here. Let me stick that in there because I was just going to say, let's put some washi tape here. I can go get some pink washi tape. But then I can just see myself coming down here and covering this up. So this doesn't bother me, but I'm going to keep that there. Might be able to fold this now. Which way did this fold? Think, did it fold this way or did it fold this way? Did it matter? I think we're going to fold this way. Yeah, we're folding this way, so let's see. Guys, look at how pretty that is. And we don't have a hump, see? See that? See how that worked? No hump. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to cut the ends off too squared. Sometimes they're just too squared. And they tend to curl. So there is a reason why sometimes you round or you clip your ends. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Because you can see her. I, I didn't even think about that when I did this. Did not think about that at all. Okay, so I'm going to call that done. This, I don't know. Are we going to do something here? We might leave it. Put some ephemera in there. I'm um, going to leave this page. This is going to be a pocket. Do we want to put something down here? Probably. You know, I really hate to cover that up. I do. I hate to cover. I'm going to wait. I just, when you get a cool page, I'm going to have to do something with that. need to remember. I'm not going to do anything here because I really don't want anything to take away from this. We'll come back to that. Doing, not touching that. I will do something with this for sure. One thing Jarf told me, when you see writing, like this is from Medieval Mirage, Jarf told me this is all authentic. She does not just go in and make up um, lettering. It's all authentic, which I think is just, I mean, that's another one of the hidden talents. Nope. Okay, guys, I am going to let you go because I know I've had you long enough. Um, I hope to see you this week. I hope to get a couple, like I said, this is Saturday, so you'll be seeing this on Monday. I hope to maybe get a couple um, videos done. But check my shorts. If you don't see me, check my shorts because you'll see me then hanging out with the kids. And I will put on there a 15 second to a minute of what what the kids and I are doing. So you, you can just see that I'm doing something. But we will have a, an index card Friday. So for sure, we will have an index card Friday. I might do something with the kids for the index card Friday, but we will have one. So thank you, thank you everyone for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic holiday, a very Merry Christmas. And um, I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys. Hugs.